I'm in the woods behind my house. I'm all alone. My time right now is all my own. But this morning, it wasn't so much that way. My husband's sick. My kids are just getting better from being sick. Like every day last week, I got a call from the nurse. My day was interrupted. I had to go pick them up. Um, I'm just in a place where I feel like my, my life is not my own. So I dropped my kids off and I called my mom who was at assisted living um, with my grandmother who fell last night. My grandmother's almost 92. And I said, mom, I feel like my life is not my own. And as soon as I said it, I felt like an idiot because my mother's life is not her own. Right now she's serving my grandmother who is, you know, coming towards the end of her life at 92 and she needs lots of help. And then I thought about my grandma whose life is most certainly not her own. I mean, like the last place she wants to be is in an assisted living facility. Um, being cared for by her child and then I thought about my husband who's sick and who I've been you know trying to help take care of his life is most certainly not his own he's living his life completely in service to me and our family our children and his community and then I realized my life has never ever been my own it is meant to be given to others it is meant to be poured out as, a, as an offering to whoever the Lord sees fit to put in my way that day. So I can feel like my life is my own or was meant to be my own, but it was never, as a Christian, it was never meant to be my own. And so I was reading, I like to read Oswald Chambers. Um, it's my utmost for his highest. Um, my husband turned me on to him. And um, a quote in the devotional for today says, Much of the misery in our Christian life comes not because the devil tackles us, but because we have never understood the simple laws of our makeup. We have to treat the body as the servant of Jesus Christ. When the body says sit and he says go, then go. When the body says eat and he says fast, then fast. When the body says yawn and he says pray, then pray. So my body is not my own. My life is not my own. My will is not my own. It's all for the glory of God and the service of God. So I'm going to leave you with this Bible verse quickly. Romans 12, 1. Therefore, I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your body as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Have a great day. Let's pray. Dear Holy Father, thank you for blessing me with another day, another opportunity, endless opportunities in one day to serve you to honor you. Lord, I welcome you into my life. I welcome your spirit into my life and into my day. Please come in and allow me to actively, willfully, openly surrender my will to you, Lord. I love you so much, Father. I thank you so much for every gift and every blessing. Lord, I humbly offer myself in service to you today. How can I serve you, Lord? How can I be what you need me to be today? Open my eyes to every opportunity, Lord. Thank you. Amen.